Uh, what video should I do today? I have no plans for videos. Yeah. Always have nothing. And then your brain will think of something after a nice cup of tea. So, say I've got a £35, right? There's two games that are the same price and they're both £35. There's Sonic Team Racing or Crash Team Racing. Which one would you buy? Now, I am a big Sonic fan and I love Sonic. I think Sonic is a great, you know, game. When I was a kid, I used to play it all the time. I have Sonic Mania on my PlayStation 4. Plus, it came three this month in June. And also Borderlands. You can get Borderlands. Pick them two games up because they're both good. So, pick them up now. So yeah, I play my PlayStation 4 a lot, I play it loads of times, and I like my racing games. I did have a Nintendo Switch, I, well, I still do, it's up there somewhere, as you can see, wherever it is, it's there. And I do have Mario Kart on it, but I used to always play Crash Team Racing when I was a kid. I used to have it on the PlayStation 1, and I used to enjoy it, drifting around corners, crazy characters. And yeah, I used to enjoy Crash, even though he was stupid sometimes, and Coco, and you know, Tiny Tiger and all the other characters that I, I played. And I never got really, you know, mad about that I didn't, un you couldn't unlock Oxide, even though I kind of did want to play it, but there was a cheat that you could put on the PlayStation 4 to play Nitrous Oxide. But now they've introduced that you can play Nitrous Oxide and many more characters in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. As you guys have seen, and I know I'm late to all this, but um, you know, you've seen all the trailers, you've seen all the characters, you've seen how much customization Crash Team Racing is. Now I'm gonna just say Crash Team Racing because I don't want to always say Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, so I'm just gonna say Crash Team Racing. You know what I mean. But Sonic Team Racing has got a team element in it, and I like the team element in it because that means you can play it and you even if you come last place, say you're not having a good game, you could still win the game. Um, so so if, you, if your team comes first and second and you, you can say seventh you could still kind of win the game because it's still got a point system but on the other hand you get the aspects of a free-for-all in crash team racing and it feels great when you actually do all the right moves boosting around corners and I, I haven't played the newest one but I'm going off when I was a kid and I used to play crash team racing when I used to win with my friends and that playing on it four by four or two or with my cousin kicking his ass and he's kicking my ass and then you got you know it's just enjoyable the thing about Sonic te um, Team Sonic Racing um, the thing is it's got good characters in it but with only I think 15 characters that's not a lot 15 characters is not a lot and I don't know the customization in it, but I've checked some videos because I was going to buy it. But now I have doubts are very on it. And people have said it's a great game and maybe I should buy it and play it. But if say if I, the, the whole this point of this video is say if I have only £35 now and I only want to spend on one racing game, what do I pick? What would you guys pick? Say, so you can pre-order Crash Team Racing for £35 standard edition. Or say you had £55 for the Oxide Edition. But let's go off with, bone, with, with say, we've all got £35, right? You, who, who's watching this, has £35. You've got Crash Team Racing or Team Sonic Racing. What would you do? Now, my aim for this video is just me talking what I think and why, why I think this. Now, some... And, I'm always going to say Sonic Team Racing, I don't know why. Team Sonic Racing, what I like about it, and what I've seen about it, it's got a good team element. It's got good characters. But I, the thing is that I don't understand, and I never will understand Sega sometimes. Maybe, maybe it's not just Sega, maybe it's the developers or whatever who make this game. Sonic, the franchise Sonic, has got so many characters in it. I don't understand why they can't make all the characters available or are they gonna do what other companies do and make everything 
when you buy the game after a few months DLC you have to buy say I don't know who's in the game say you have to buy um, I don't know say supersonic say that you have to buy supersonic for a five 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 pound that is not good that's not I hate that DLC aspect of like oh you want this character pay an extra five pound or extra three pound I don't like I don't like that and I never will like that I don't know if they are gonna do that but with 15 characters only in the game if the content is low and I've checked the customization the customization of the game it's very lackluster to say in fact now I can't really say that without playing it I know I've not played it and I, I feel bad saying this I've not played it but I was going to buy it today I was going to buy it but I just I before I always buy games I don't know if you guys do this but I always look on YouTube watch with no commentary I don't listen to people playing it I just listen to the and um, sound trailer um, watch what the customization is characters and yeah I, I don't know I just I just feel like it's a lackluster game but it's a good it's a, <laughs> I don't want to sound negative now I don't want to if you're a Sonic fan and you don't like Crash Team Sonic Racing but for me I'm both Crash and Sonic and it's really hard to pick something this video probably sounds stupid to you guys but it's just me talking rambling because I love to ramble about stuff that I actually think that is logical but anyway team sonic racing is great and then it looks great it looks you've got you you got your different three classes you've got your technique you've got your speed you've got your power kind of like sonic riders i've always played sonic riders see that's a that's people say sonic riders was kind of bad but well i won't say it's bad on the playstation 2 the sonic riders um first one and sonic riders zero gravity was good i enjoyed them but Sonic Riders, what is it, on the Xbox? Free Ride? That was bad. That was... Let's get, just forget about that. Just... But what I'm saying is Sonic Riders had very good characters in it. Very good characters in it. I can't remember how many, but they had definitely more than this roster. And they had very unique characters. Some unique characters that wasn't even in Sonic Universe. There was some um, just normal Sega characters in there. There was like, um, what is it, the Monkey Ball character, Ai, I think his name, Ai. And um, there was Crazy Taxi. That was no, the Crazy Taxi was the um, on Sonic Riders. There was a map. There was a track that you could get the Crazy Taxi, and it was a Sega track. I always remember that. It's pretty cool because you, he's like a shortcut, and you could get a, like the Crazy Taxi guy, and he just picks you up. That's pretty cool. That's off another subject. Anyway, if you ever played Sonic Riders, you'll understand. Um, but yeah, but there's some amazing characters. There was Knight. If you've never ever you know Sega Knight, there was you could play as Knight. That was pretty cool. But what I'm saying is, it's got more characters in it, and I enjoyed that. That was good. People say that, I don't know why they didn't like that. I don't know. I, I liked it. And yeah, I I enjoyed that. But this, I don't know. I don't know why. The problem is they could have they could add loads of characters. On the top of my head right now, I'm thinking of so many characters. Like for example, like. I know you guys probably hate Sonic R, but the, the, so the Sonic R was, uh, I think it, I played it on the PC, and it did come out on the PlayStation and stuff like that. Sonic R was a Sonic racing game, basically. It was running racing game, but Sonic was running, Tails was running, Knuckles was running, Amy Rose was in a car, there was Dr. Eggman that was in his little, like, spaceship kind of thing, and there was many characters in there, um... There was Super Sonic. That, that was one thing that I loved about the game. You could actually play as Super Sonic. And I know it sounded weird, but if you collected all the Kratos um, emeralds in the tracks, you could unlock Super Sonic. And that was cool because that was the best character every time. Because there was different like tracks and different kind of things where like weather effects on it. Every track you could go on, it could be different weather effects. I love that. It makes you want to play it again and again and again. Well, for me, I don't know why people hate Sonic R. I enjoyed it me and um, I think most most people why people hated it is because um, it was new kind of to the 3d era but I don't know I enjoyed it and there was many characters like um, doll tails doll tails or puppet tails that, that was a cool character that was a cool char character why can't he be in team sonic racing there was um robot knuckles um, there was metal sonic metal sonics in this I know that for a fact 
Um, so why can't they add, like, like on the top of my head, a new team, Metal Sonic, Puppet Tails, and Metal Knuckles? That's one team. Instead of putting Metal Sonic with Eggman again, why does he always have to be with Eggman? Why does he always have to be with Eggman? I don't understand that. Like, Shadow, um, he's got his own team, and I like that. Shadow's got his um, normal team, Omega and, um, you know, Rouge. That was on Sonic Heroes. I like that. Sonic's normal team. Amy Rose has got a different team. Where's Cream? Where's Cream? It should be big Amy Rose and Cream. Why are the Chows in this? Chows could be in another team. I don't understand the whole thing about it. Maybe I'm going too much. But anyway, the thing what I'm saying is it, it's for me to buy Team Sonic Racing, it needs more characters and more content. That's just me. I don't know what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comments if I'm, if I'm saying bad things and you think it's wrong. But Crash Team Racing. Crash Team Racing has so much content, so many characters. It's got an adventure mode where you can actually, the adventure mode from before, and it's better. It looks so much cooler. And what's Team Sonic Racing got? Overlay of someone talking. The characters talking. No cutscenes, just speech bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think I'm going to pre-order the standard edition of Crash Team Racing. Because, I don't know, I just find it's worth my money more. In the long run. And, I don't know. I just, I don't know, it's still hard to pick. I might pick up um, Team Sonic Racing if it goes on sale. But for now, I don't think I'm going to buy £34. I don't think, I don't know. They're both, they're both got the negatives and positives. But for me, I just think Crash Team Racing just looks better. If you, if you guys know what I mean. I really didn't want this video to be a negative video on bashing them two um, racing games. But I'm just saying what I think. Maybe my thinking is wrong. Maybe you guys love Team Sonic Racing. And tell me in the comments why you love it. I really want to know why you love it. Why is it so good? Because I want. if it is that good, I'll buy both if I can. But at the minute, I just want to buy one. I want to try and save money. You know what I'm saying? And... I think Crash Team Racing is going to be the one that I'm going to buy. Because Team Sonic Racing, I'm a big Sonic fan, really big Sonic fan. I'm a Crash fan, but Crash is beating it for me right now. Sonic, I don't know. Like I say, at least the fix in the Sonic movie. That's always a good thing. Hopefully when that comes out next February, next year in February, it'll be better. It might look like this Sonic. I don't know. We can always hope, right? Come on, Sega. You can do this. Get your A game together and make that Sonic movie look the best. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this random video of what I did. I don't know what you guys thought of it. Maybe you thought it was bad. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. If you disliked it, dislike it. And also, let me know what you guys think of both games. I'm not dissing anybody. None of them are bad. They're both good. And they've both got the negatives. Positives and negative mix into one. Make literally positive negative makes it a reason why people pick things. If you don't have a positive or a negative, you don't have a reason, I guess. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, 